Hello everybody and welcome back to our little Chia experiment. We had a disturbing experience this morning when we looked into our Ubuntu plotter and started a new plot. We had this warning creating plots with size K32, which is less than the minimum required for mainnet. Uh, I have put it up on GitHub, uh, but I think there's no reply up to now. Let's see. Nope. Nothing has been answered. To up to now, but I mean, I didn't find anything in the search. I was under the impression K32 is still valid as a plot size. Everything else would be a huge surprise. And as you see, the plot is going on and it shows no sign of being different in any form than or shape than the other ones and we have A plot in our system which is exactly the same I mean we didn't alter anything on the on the on the input sorry yeah I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm still I'm still so perplexed uh, yeah so we didn't alter anything on the input and it is uh, this is our test net and it shows the plot as a valid plot in the total number of plots which has been plotted on the Ubuntu harvester the day before yesterday with exactly the same Uh, inputs K32, eight threads, 23 gigabyte of RAM. Yeah, yeah, we are just testing our limits. <laughs> I know it is over the top, but we are just testing our limits. We are just looking forward <coughs> or trying out different types of settings. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I will see what comes out of the github request if there's any any answer we will see but that would be a bit of a surprise good as you can see everything else is fine we are doing very well with our response times I think this will be the last one for today, yeah, uh, we have a few gigabytes of RAM, uh, yeah, a few hundred gigabytes of RAM, which we have to put into the machines, a few extension cards for PCIs, PCI, and then we will have to focus on our on our fiber optic LAN so that we get the connections together the number of or the 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 net space has of course returned back to the size it was before the decrease and I have been through some posts yesterday and watched some YouTube 
videos especially if you go uh, if you look for poor investor and then through his comments when he asked about uh, what to do to switch to age pool yeah you can see we are back to 12 and a half exabyte now <clears throat> and I expect it to be 13 by tonight I think the shift is mainly people moving their plots around and it is not actually a sign of a slowdown in the net space. But anyway, we will find out. Yeah, so we will see what the <laughs> what the heck this warning is about. But I wanted to share it with you so that you might have a look into your log file so it comes up when you start a plot and we will see what what the meaning of that is so i show you again the one well, it's just a copy and paste from the morning when i started the plot and yeah, I'm really confused. I would like to know what this is about. Apart from that, the price for Shia is still within the corridor between 1000 and 600 but obviously it's a hundred dollar less than it was yesterday the trading volume is still very modest so no no change there and i'm looking forward seeing it at 600 and then seeing how the next test of the 600 bottom line will and yeah we are in a perfect sideways strike and yeah <coughs> we will see thanks for the people who take it upon them to watch my videos i'm very surprised <laughs> that uh, the numbers are increasing Thank you very much, and especially the people who subscribe to the channel. Yeah, I will try to improve A, my English, and B, the quality of the videos. Uh, <laughs> it is a problem, I see, and uh, yeah, I will work on it. I promise I will improve over time. It is difficult for us because we have so much going on, and I can't just afford to take two hours or three hours to do a proper uh, cut video and uh, make a script and everything uh, that is just not working I mean I hope you're more interested in the facts uh, and not as much in the appearance but I promise uh, I will put more effort into it over time so thank you very much for watching. Yeah, we will now rip all of our test machines apart at the RAM so that we will have a better response and we can work with more threads and more and more memory per plot so that we can start plotting in bigger numbers and then see how it works and yeah it didn't make much sense to start in bigger numbers anyway because we haven't had a clue if we wanted to pursue the whole thing and on the other hand we are still not ready with our fiber optic network so we will see what it is i i personally i don't want to go down the route with the 
uh, storage box because yeah I think it is just too it is just too much at the moment it is just too much I don't want to go above the 400 500 terabytes at the moment this is very in its infant status and we have to uh, we have to watch where it goes okay thank you very much for watching have a really good day and yeah like and subscribe if you feel the need to do so it gives us a better ranking and a better rating and that would mean that you have it's much easier for you to find our videos if you want to do so. Yeah, so here is the link about the GitHub message again. And we will see if anybody answers. Good. So that is it. Everything is working as it should. And yeah, the net space is growing again as we would have thought so. Good. That was it for today. Thank you very much and have a really good day.